one more. Okay, okay that's it. Good morning! Just making some eggs, some fried eggs. This is actually like the third one I've made. Look at this cute pan. It makes the perfect little fried eggs. I mean, just look at this little egg. It just turns out so perfect and wonderful. I love that little pan. I got it on Amazon for like, I think it was $13. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Well, it's 10 o'clock, but it's still morning. It's Tuesday. Good. Just having my coffee. I've made I made fried eggs for breakfast and some tortillas and they had pinto beans with it and some bananas and I had the same thing. I didn't have as many beans. I finished off the black bean soup yesterday for lunch and <sighs> let's be really all like four days of eating beans is just not good for the stomach at least not for mine <laughs> but we have hot dogs left and we have hamburgers left and we have watermelon left we have potato salad left there's still pinto beans there's still two baked potatoes so i am not cooking dinner the only thing i might make is we have um a lot of spaghetti sauce left so i might just boil some noodles for adam's dinner tonight because I don't think he wants beans and potatoes. And the kids will probably polish off the hamburgers and hot dogs for lunch. But yesterday was really nice. We got a lot of seeds planted. I got a few more things to plant today. We didn't mow the lawn. We're going to do it. He's going to do it Friday when he gets off work. Um, we barbecued our our friends brought over chicken and hot dogs and we had the hamburgers and potato salad and we had pineapple and watermelon and they brought over cookies and chips and it was really nice to get together with other adults <laughs> and have some interaction inter interaction because we're in idaho and so i think we're like in phase three of opening things up so you can like our church is open we haven't been because the children's ministry is not open um, it was just nice to be with more people than just my family. Anyway, anyways, we had a good time. So today, I, <sighs> my kids are done with school. Um, some of them did really well and some of them did really terrible. But I think that school, the teachers taking consideration that if they did pretty good last trimester, semester, whatever, um, they'll go ahead and move them up because not everybody had access to Wi-Fi and computers and just not everybody can learn that way. It is different when you homeschool on your own terms or when you're doing an actual online school. And this was just the teachers had to throw together stuff at the last minute and try to do class meets and it was very overwhelming not only for the teachers but for the kids and for the parents i mean especially me i have six kids and like i said my youngest is special needs she requires one-on-one -on -one attention 24 7. it was hard to sit and help the other kids or make sure my teenagers were doing what they needed to be doing and we turn in the chromebooks tomorrow because we were able to get chromebooks from the school to help because we only have two computers um and our wi-fi is terrible we got cheaper wi-fi last month because we we're trying to save money and i think we're gonna go back to what we had before even though it costs more at least i felt like we were getting our money's worth because now i feel like we're paying 50 dollars a month for nothing we can barely watch tv they had a terrible time getting on their classes um it takes forever to upload my youtube videos I, it just nothing works right and i i I like to watch TV at night or well I read a lot too but you know when the kids like to watch TV I don't know anyway that's totally off the subject but we're gonna be switching back on when tomorrow we return the Chromebooks and like Allie can go to the high school and clean out her locker which should be interesting because she had dishes in there from because um, she liked to take containers that she could bring home and wash and a lot of times she would forget and leave them in her locker. So I think there's like 
at least two containers and I think they had salad in them so they probably don't smell very good. I think one of them had pasta or something. <laughs> this is probably all moldy. Hopefully I can clean them. Um, Parker's already turned in his Chromebook and cleaned out his locker and then I had to return the Chromebook to the elementary school but they have like a drive through thing and they have I think they're gonna have all the kids stuff in their desks put in bags for them so we just pick it up. I'm, I'm not quite sure but that's tomorrow and then today <sighs> Today, I need to call, go brush your teeth and make your bed, please. Yeah. Yes, I need to call, um, Kennedy is supposed to be getting all kinds of services. We got her official diagnosis in January and she qualified for like all kinds of therapy, even horseback riding therapy. She qualified it for social security. She qualified for this thing called the Katie Beckett program where I get paid to stay at home with her even when she's at school just because it's hard to get for me to go out and like just get a regular job because sometimes I get called to the school or sometimes I gotta go pick her up from school because she has a you know appointments so right now all she's doing is meeting with a child psychologist once a week which is helpful and a psychiatrist because she started on medication but I'm like the paperwork, oh, and she met with the neurologist who's so supposed to be having like sleep studies and that got put on hold because of the COVID thing. Um, but she's supposed to be starting like occupational therapy or there's just all these different programs and like that Katie Beckett thing and I, the paperwork is astronomical. It's so overwhelming. I don't know where to start. I don't know what services to pick because we're not from here and I feel really lost and I have been putting it off since the end of January and then COVID happened and so nothing was open but stuff is opening now summer's coming so there is a phone number I can call they gave me a lady's phone number because I guess a lot of people that have special needs children that go through this process do get overwhelmed because they told me that I was like oh no I can I can figure it out and no I can't I don't know where to start I can't figure it out so I'm going to call her today and make an appointment. I don't know if she comes here or if I go to her office, I don't know how it works, to sit down and see, okay, what services should I pick to benefit her for the disabilities that she has? And can I get Social Security and the Katie Beckett? And can you help me fill out the paperwork? And what exactly do they need to know? Because I feel like they need to know everything, like your income, I don't know. It was just a lot. So I'm gonna call today and make an appointment. I need to stop putting it off. Plus I've been writing again um, when I have a chance here and there. It's, it's hard because at night I'm too tired and in the mornings I've not been waking up early enough but I got, I got in like four pages over this long weekend. So that was good, it felt good to be writing. I don't have anything published, I've never shared my stuff. Um, I mean I've shared a couple poems on Facebook or whatever but I've always wanted to write like a novel. I have some <laughs> that I've never tried to get published or shared. I've been writing since I was a kid. But I mean, I don't even know if I'll try to do anything with this, but it just, I feel like since I've had kids, I've stopped writing. I've stopped playing the piano. I just stopped doing all those hobbies that I used to do. I used to have, I mean, I have books and books, like notebooks full of poetry and short stories and novels that I've written that I've done nothing with because it was just it was a hobby it was a release for me and with six kids I don't have a lot of me time but I'm like well we don't have a piano anymore we sold it when we moved we have a keyboard but I'm gonna start with the writing maybe I'll incorporate music in the next couple months I'm pretty rusty <clears throat> also also I think I will be getting kind of a break coming up soon. Kennedy starts because she's on an IEP program. It's like an individual program for kids with um, special needs. And so, sorry, my phone was ringing. They decided that she qualified for a summer school so that, and she actually gets to go on the bus and go. <laughs> and that starts June 1st. I'm so excited and she's excited. She missed school. So she'll be going Monday through Thursday. I think it's three and a half hours a day. It might be all day, I don't know, because they said something about breakfast and lunch, but she'll have transportation. I think it will be good for her. 
that will give me a break. Plus my dad's coming up on the 4th of June, not July. And he will be taking Parker and Allie and possibly Wesley. I'm not sure if Wesley's going with my dad or not. And they're gonna go um, river rafting and camping up in Wyoming and Montana for a couple weeks. And I think around that same time, my in-laws are coming and taking Jillian and Tiffany and Wes. I don't know if he's going with my in-laws or my dad. And they'll be going down to Northern California for a few weeks to spend time with their family. Now, nothing's open in California, but they don't care. They just want to be with their, their grandparents and see their cousin and their uncle and stuff. They wanted to go down, the older kids especially wanted to go down to Southern California to stay with my mom and my sister, but, and that was the original plan, but it's a lot of driving for my dad and his wife to come up here and get the kids, do the camping thing, and then drive all the way down to Southern California, which is like a 16 hour drive, have them spend a couple weeks and then bring them all the way. I mean, we just can't do it. I can't make the drive because Adam's working and I can't do that drive alone with Kennedy. I just, I won't do it. She, <laughs> she's hard with even me and Adam. So um, then I thought about letting the older kids fly, but they are, there are no direct flights from us to Southern California. There's layovers. Now, my mom and my dad, they were gonna help pay for the plane tickets if we could figure it out, but Parker, my son, doesn't want because we were gonna, I was gonna have him go for like a month. But Parker, my son, doesn't want to stay that long. He wants to spend the summer here with his, with his friends and use the pool and, and I get it. So my daughter, she's gonna be 15 and she's like, well, just let me go. But I don't know, I, I, I'm thinking about it still. It scares me to have her sitting at, because some of those layovers are four, four hours long and I mean, even if we got her a phone, I, a 15 year old girl sitting in, sitting in an airport, I'm just, my husband's like, oh, she'll be fine. And I, you know, that whole mom thing. I'm just, it makes me nervous. If my son was going with her and there was two of them, cause I'm not nervous about the flight. I'm nervous about the layovers. My stepson, um, when we had moved from Southern to Northern California, he used to fly all the time. He'd fly from Ontario, California to the Bay Area and vice versa. And it was a 45 minute flight, which is what the flight, it would be here for, to Southern California, like an hour flight if there was no layovers. And he's, he was doing that at 10 years old and I was fine with that. It's the layover part that freaks me out, especially a teenage girl, I don't know. I mean, I know this security and I don't even know if at that age that somebody would be able to sit with her during the layover, like a, an attendant, I don't know. That's all up in there, but at least for a couple weeks, two to three weeks, I will be getting a break. Kennedy is staying, but she has the summer school. So I am gonna really use that time to write, to get my house organized, to, cause I feel like the basement is just a big wasted space. They keep switching rooms and I'm just so done with it. I'm like, can you just stay where you're at for at least six months? And so now there's nothing in the basement except that bed. And so there's just this big empty space. And I'm like, how can we utilize that? I want to figure that out. I want to fill out all that paperwork and get Kennedy's stuff squared away before school starts up again. Hopefully, hopefully they go back to school. Oh my goodness. I don't know what I'm going to do if they continue the online stuff. I will pull my hair out. So yeah, I while they're gone, I just... I'm. I'm gonna miss my kids dearly, but it will be good to have a break. Okay, so the other thing I wanna know from you all, I love getting advice, I love the feedback, and since my channel is growing and I'm so excited to have like a community, it's awesome. Okay, I am definitely not perfect, and I feel like I have been lazy, lazy, lazy when it comes to my kids and scheduling. We were on a really good schedule for the like first week of COVID, and then that flew out the window. <laughs> They've been lacking on their chores, and I'm that type A personality, like I like things done a certain way, and so when it doesn't get done right away, I just, I get anxiety, and I end up doing it 
for them. I need to stop doing that because I'm not doing them any favors and I know that. But I have been really bad about letting them have screen time. So they're like, can I play Roblox? And that's like the one thing that works with our internet is that stinking Roblox game. And I don't really mind the game. I, they're not allowed to add friends and all that stuff because it's kind of a little bit like Minecraft, except you build like cities and there's like a hundred different games in this Roblox and you build characters and they have a lot of fun with it, but it's, I, it's highly addictive and I see that. And I've been really bad about, mom, please, can I play Roblox? Can I use your computer? And I'm like, go ahead, go ahead. So I feel like in a lot of my vlogs, all you see is my kids sitting here at the kitchen table playing Roblox, it's pretty bad. <laughs> I, I kind of feel like they've lost their imaginations. <laughs> they'll go outside to play on the swing and like 10 minutes will go by and they'll come in they're like, okay, we played outside and we play Roblox. <laughs> and a lot of this is my fault because I've just been so overwhelmed with the homeschooling and the COVID and I've been like, yeah, whatever, like playing Roblox so I can, you know, have a cup of coffee and not tear my hair out. So give me some fun ideas. I have, we have tons of art supplies. I'm like, take, I know my kids are getting older. So my youngest are almost six and nine. And then I have a 10 year old boy. And I'm like, at 10, I was still playing outside, like using my imagination. Like I play, like I was lost in the forest. And I don't know, I just, I played. Like I took my toys outside. I was like telling him like, take your Hot Wheels out there. Take the dinosaurs out there. like do something besides roblox so i thought maybe you guys could because i feel like i'm lacking in the imagination department myself like come up with something for my kids to do like some sort of challenge now i can't film them much because if i film them too much then you all can't leave me comments but maybe like if you, somebody can think of something creative like some sort of writing assignment like a play or something they can do outside i don't know i i I mean, the Dollar Tree's open so I can go get some more craft supplies if we need it. And we, the library's open so I can go get tons of books. Comment down below and give us some ideas. I just, I need them to not have so much screen time. The only one that's not getting a ton of screen time is Kennedy because as much as she wants to watch TV, <laughs> the TV's not, not been working. There's never a signal. <clears throat> so she has been outside a lot so I'm not really worried about her but especially like the teenagers they're in that hard place you know 14 and 13 and almost 12 and they're like I don't want to play outside and I get it and you can only read so much so I especially need ideas for them something really constructive so throw it at me let me have it and that's all I got for today Chicken tendies, guys. Bye. So, I know I always say I'm gonna end the vlog and then I have more stuff to say. So, about the idea thing, I, the ones I really need the ideas for are my 15 year old, almost 15 year old daughter, my 12 year old daughter, and my 10 year old son. Like, Jillian, she is addicted to Roblox, but she will get out toys and play for a little while. And again, like I said, Kennedy, I'm not really worried about. And Parker, He's probably my most active kid. He's 13 and he's always out with his friends on a scooter outside. So he very rarely is on the computer. But the other ones, I'm lost. Like I just, I don't know what to do anymore.